again, another one. Now, we've got a few birthday shout outs today, but also other things as well. I've got a little, st I want to tell you a story. I've got a little story to tell you uh, about what happened you know, a few years back. Um, might be interesting, might not be. Um, I think we'll start with uh, a piggy. Piggy, you're wanted. And we've got a, 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 a figgy bob. Right, we've got a... Oh, there he is. Uh, you alright? Right, okay. Well, we've got... We'll start with a birthday shout-out, and then we'll go on to the story, perhaps. And, uh, okay, well, the first one's for Maxine. Maxine, she used to work at Casino, but uh, she was an Australian, but British, English, originally. Years back, her family and that, but Australian. She's been over here, she worked in Casino, and then she went back to Australia, and now she's still keeping in touch by Facebook. So Maxine, it's your birthday a little while ago, and you said you was uh, you had your birthday all alone, way out there in sunny Australia. But at the moment, it's sunny Aus England as well, and it pig. Yeah, it's quite hot here, stifling sometimes. Okay, well pig, you've got to. Give a birthday shout out to Maxine. You ready? Okay. This is a birthday shout out from, to Maxine from all the casino staff. And uh, there's a few new ones there. And Mummy Steve and Piggy and me. You're not alone with a strand. Okay, Pig, off you go. What you say? All right. Maxine. You all right? All right, okay. Okay, Maxine. Out there in sunny Australia. From sunny Great Britain and Piggy. Okay, well, we'll let that leave that. You going? Okay. Right, well, <clears throat> what else? Well, we've got a couple, we've got a couple more shares, but look, I wanted, I wanted to show you these. Now, I, I, I've, in the past, I collected banknotes. Get comfortable. Collected banknotes. Old banknotes, but British. English, well British because I've got a Falkland ones of his like that, but mainly English ones. Now who remembers these? Now these were the, the one pound and the ten shillings about 1960. 1960, there we are. Dun dun dun, dun dun dun, that's the pound. You imagine the pound coin, little thing, less, little than that the value of this at that time because in this you'd have half a crowns, two shillings, sixpences, pennies, eightpence, thirty bits, shillings, or will you go on and on and a ten bob note and that's that and that's the back of it if I can get it out that's the back of it yeah, and that's the front of it which looks very impressive super condition right you in that one pound there was, in old money, 20 shillings. 20 shillings made one pound. Which now, 50 pence is equal, 250 pences is equal to one pound. So 50 pence is equal to half of that. Now half of that in the times when this was made, that was 20 shillings, one pound note. It was a 10 shilling note. So that was half of a pound. Look how impressive. They made those. Now it's in a plastic because I don't want to touch it. But you can see it's mint condition virtually. But you can see it's lovely condition. Two of them made one of them. You would get if you went and bought a packet of cigarettes. <coughs> oh, packet of cigarettes. Say one and three. One shilling and threepence in those days. They would give you 
shillings and sixpences and half a crowns and one of those and a packet of cigarettes out of that. <laughs> the back of the ten shilling note is like that. The back of the pound is like that. The front is like that. The front is like that. Of course, we did have bigger nominations. They were pounds. Remember, five of them were a five pound note. Ten of them was a ten pound note. If you had five of those in your hands, wow, you felt rich against the five pound notes now that are just rubbish. And ten of them made you feel like you had a little bundle. And all you had was a, a five pound note changed into ten of them. But ten of them were valuable. You go to the cinema for two, one and three and things like that and get a bus ride for footmans, I suppose. Now, <clears throat> now um, there is uh, there is the bigger nominations. There's the five pounds. There it is, five pounds. That one pound that you saw, five of them would equal that. So if you book something with that, you'd get four of those one pounds, a ten shilling note and some change. And there's the five pound note, if I can get it out of the light. Might reflect some because it's in a plastic. But there it is. Who remembers them? Who remembers them? The back of it. There we are. Very powerful looking. Very powerful. Uh, very like making you feel you've got a lot of money there. And it's worth a lot. And maybe two of them with someone's wages in a week. Or perhaps even a month. I don't know. Now that was a five pound note. And that was powerful. But what about the £10 note? Now the £10 note, well, that was powerful, huh? because that £10 note, you get two of them, or you, if you spent that, you'd get one of them, buying a pack of cigarettes, four of them, and one of them, four of them, one of them, if you change that up. Well, well, I mean, you know, uh, don't get me wrong, that's worth more than £10 now. That's worth a lot more than £10 now because the face value, it's got on there, the Bank of England guarantees to give you the £10. Well, you can get £10. People would run at you to give you the £10 for that and the £5 for that and the £1. The they would run it because you imagine £10 note now, a bit of plastic about the size of that. I mean, pff, hold on, hold on, I'll go and get a £10 note. Back. The £10 classic. The new £10. Dun, dun, dun. Which one's the valuablest? Uh, and then the five, well, the £5 note and the £5 note. Right. Get the light out of it. Uh, there we are. Shrinking money. Shrinking money. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. There's the pen of 50 pence. That's equal to, but wow. Imagine selling that for 50 pence, pig. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Right, well, <clears throat> money. Well, what do you say? It's money. Money. I'm just having a look here. Well, you know, money talks. Uh, oh, uh, Luca Parker. Oh, there's a, his birthday. is a late birthday shout-out. Pig, Luca Parker wants a late one. He said he's... Could he have a late one? Could he? Okay. Okay. Off you go, Pig. Luca Parker. Right, okay. Off you go now, all right? Okay. Well, you know, money does talk. It does talk. I mean, these might only be bits of plastic, but, you know, you've got to have them, and, you know, they're nice when you've got them. It's when you ain't got them, they're not nice. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're the rubbish, but... 
No. So, how do we get out of the night? Money talks, but it don't sing and it don't dance and it don't walk. As long as I can have you here with me, I'd much rather be forever in blue jeans. Honey, sweet, oh yeah, and it ain't nothing like my baby's tree. And if you pardon me, I'd like to say we'll be okay forever in blue jeans. Those notes now, these are the modern ones, lovely, aren't they? Hey, oh, God, oh, God, I say so. Okay, so now we'll uh, <clears throat> let's have a look at the next thing to do. I've got a story, and might be all right, might be all right, might be all right. What it was <clears throat> now, my brother, his son was a junior UK under. 21 or 18, I don't know, champion at Snooter. David, his name was. So anyway, um, he played at the Romford Snooker Hall and he met people like Steve Davis and that. And my brother got was a good friends with uh, uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan. They were really good friends. He used to go around, my brother Ted and his son used to go around uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan's house, at, I think Chinkford. And uh, they'd play on his like big house he's got, and they'd play on his snooker table. And my my uh, my brother's son would uh, practice with him, give him practice sort of. And um, Ronnie would apparently uh, like were good friends with my brother and that, so he would get in touch with Teddy before a tournament and ask could he. Could his uh, son David come in and give him some practice, like a sparring partner, before the tournament to get him warmed up? So they used to go around and do that, you know, do that a lot. Well, down the casino, we was down, I was down the casino. I was married at that time, so I was down the casino, and uh, me and my wife. And uh, I'm not married now. I thought I'd tell you, but I was married then. Okay, so me and my wife was down there, and. Um, <clears throat> And uh, 
I said to the manageress, who I was well in with, they were like four of us as gold dust. They gave us three meals and they were good as gold. It was a manageress down here at the time. It's our friend on the set. So anyway, uh, I said, like, Ronnie O'Sullivan would like to come down here. But he's a bit frightened because, um, this is what my brother told me, he's a bit frightened because uh, people pick on him because like he's rich and famous and they start having a go at him and that. And they, they went, no, nah, if he comes down here, he'd be well protected, nothing can happen to him here, he'd be as good as gold. I went, OK. And so I told my brother this and my brother got in touch with him and, and you know, a few weeks went on and I come in there once with my wife, we're walking in the gut doorways and um, as I come in there, the manager said, Good evening, Mr. Grimwood. And this bloke shot round, and I looked round at him, and I thought, What's this? It was Ronnie O'Sullivan, he was signing in. Now, he don't really know me, he knows my brother and his son, because they're the ones that they you know. But he knew the name, so he shot round, and, he, <laughs> and I thought, Oh, God, Ronnie O'Sullivan's here. I went, But my brother ain't here. You know, he's come down and he ain't here. So I went inside and I was waiting and I got on the phone and I phoned my brother on the mobile phone and I said, Ted, Ronnie O'Sullivan's turned up. And he went, oh, I'm a long way away picking up David from a snooker tournament. I said, well, can't you make it back? He said, no, I can't, I can't. So as Ronnie come in, I said to him, oh, look, there's my brother on the phone. He wants to talk to you. So he took the phone, he's going, hello, hello, Ted, and all that. They're talking away about ten minutes up. He's going, you coming back? And I suppose Ted is saying, no, I can't make it back. And uh, he's going, OK. You know. Anyway, he's speaking about it like, for a long while. And then he gives me the phone back. He says, OK, thanks for that. And uh, he, he, he goes part, he goes off. And who he's got with him is uh, Martina McClutchen, the one out of EastEnders who sings. She was with him. So they're walking off together. And everyone's going up to them, but they're taking selfies, but with her more than him. Anyway, they go to the cash desk, go to the cash desk, and they draw out a thousand, or he draws out a thousand pounds. And they walk down to the tables, and they go on this table, and he gives her some of the money, I don't know, half or something, I don't know what he gives her, but he gives her money, and they start playing. And uh, it goes on quite a long while, I'm still on the machines, and and things like that, and um, then later on, he goes up to the cash desk, cashes whatever he's got, I don't know what he's got, and as he's walking around, coming by, I said to him, were any good? He went, no, I didn't win, he said, didn't win. He said can you win on that? I said, you can, I said, but you win on a £25 table, I said, it's all right, betting 25 if you'd afford it, I said, but if you go on a £5 table, you can still bet 25 but you can split your bets in other ways, you can put fives on, tens on, whatever, and your money will last longer, and you could catch them just the same. I went, oh, dear, I didn't know what I was doing. I said, well, next time you come down, come down with my brother Ted, he'll show you all how to do it, because he's, he worked out, he worked out a system, it wasn't a, Hard system to work out, and a lot of people know it. But he worked out one, and they won thousands. Him and his mate. Terry the bus's name was, the mate of his, that won it, uh, with Teddy, my brother. Uh, why they called him Terry the bus? Because he was a taxi driver. No, he was a bus driver. He used to be. He used to be a bus driver. I can tell you that story another time. You'll be amazed. The casino were flabbergasted. They were trying to get rid of him, but they wanted the money back before they got rid of him. Oh, it went on and on and on. Oh, <laughs> Oh, oh, I won't tell that, it'll take too long. Uh, uh, I mean, my brother bought cars, he bought a Jaguar to drive him down, drive this Terry the bus down from his house, they bought a Jaguar. He bought a caravan over in Canary Island, which is just a little way away at the seafront from South End, so I didn't have to, didn't have to, <laughs> didn't have to go home when the, cause the casino used to shut up for, open at two in the afternoon, so I was still going home, because we were winning so much money, I shot over to the caravan, which they were renting, and come back, and, oh, I won't tell you what happened. It went on and on. He won thousands. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, so, uh, um, what's, his, what's his name? Uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Yeah. He, he, uh, he said, tell on, he win. And uh, that was it, really. But the, the manageress and the managers and that, because and that, 
we knew him, and when we said we knew, or well, my brother knew him, they didn't really believe us. But because he come down, uh, of course, he's talking to me, and he's on the phone to my brother. They realised we knew someone who was a multi-millionaire, and we could bring him down again, perhaps, or I don't know. They treated us even better than they did before. We was treated like bloody film stars or something. You know, a tri- you know like, they, they come there, they talk, you know, they, you know, because you knew someone... And you didn't just say you knew them, you brought them down and spoke to them and said, showed you knew them. And you knew your brother knew them, and your brother's son, my nephew, he knew them, and played with him in tournaments. So, uh, yeah, he used to give my brother tickets and that so they could go to the tournaments and see him at the tournaments and all that type of thing. But, yeah, that was it. Yeah, just a little thing. Anyway, we got to um, get off of that subject. That was just a little story. I thought I'd tell you a little story. <laughs> we got uh, another birthday. Last one, Piggy, you're wanted. It's uh, a birthday for a shout out for an early birthday shout out. So you'll have to show this to his son, Cameron. It's James Palash, his son's early birthday. So you'll have to show it on his birthday. Piggy, you're wanted. Oh, oh sorry, you're here. <laughs> okay, off you go, Pig. That's it. You're going? Mm. Okay. Oh, it's warm today. It's warm. It is warm. It is warm. <coughs> throat in your, uh, frog in your throat. So it is warm. So what we're going to do now? Well, I don't know. I think I'll tell him. I'll tell him. Pig! I'm going to tell him. What do you reckon? You going to tell him? What should we do? Oh, I know something about love. You gotta want it bad. If that guy gets into your blood, go out and get it. Mm, if you want it to be oh, a part of you, make you want to breathe. Mm, here's the thing to do. You gotta tell him. You're never gonna leave him. I tell him. I bet you're always gonna love him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him right now. Ooh, I know something about love. You gotta do it and make him see the moon of above. Go out and get him if you want it to be. Always part of me if you want it to. Only thing to do, you gotta tell him that you're never gonna leave him. I tell him that. Always gonna love him, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him right now. Oh yeah, pig. Ever since the world began, it's been that way for man and woman. Were created, yeah, to make love their destiny. Mm, that's what true love should be. So. Going now, pig. Yeah, say to that. And if they want to give likes, please give likes. So, what you got to say, pig? 
Don't get your eyes. <laughs> okay. Down you go. And oh, that's it. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. We better go. We better go. Now, 25 minutes. Oh, no. <laughs>